What are we having today to drink? We are drinking this tequila, tequila, <laughs> tequila, <laughs> tequila and yeho. I promise I'm not drunk. This is, I've literally had two sips of this. This came from Costco and it's actually really, really good. In today's video, I'm actually going to be dyeing my hair. Now, in the short amount of time I've had this YouTube channel, I think I've had quite a vast difference of hairstyles. I started out with very long hair, which was a newer thing for me, and then I kind of went to short hair that was dyed a smoky gray, and then I went to short hair again that was dyed platinum blonde, kind of the color it is now. I mean, there's a lot of yellow in there. That dye that happened was not great. My head was burned. My hair is severely damaged. But before that, I was actually pretty like basic with my haircuts my whole life. It's usually been just a short haircut. In sixth grade, I decided that I wanted a perm. I was always at the salon with my mom who always got a perm. And the books at the salon had all of these haircuts of these guys and I really liked their haircuts, but they all had curly hair. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna grow my hair out and get a perm. So my mom let me do that, bless her heart. And little sixth grade me who thought this hair was gonna look so cool just walked out of that salon with a very poofy, head of hair. And to be honest, I really liked my perm until other people started making fun of me and then it made me feel self-conscious. Just all of the things that little kids go through. It did not look like all the magazines. It did not look like how I thought it would look. I wish I had photo evidence of this perm. I had destroyed it all in my very self-conscious high school years. Yeah, I had a perm in sixth grade before NSYNC hit the scene. But aside from those few short occasions, I have actually not done much with my hair. I do have blonde still left on my head for a short amount of time and some friends this weekend were like, hey, you should probably dye that like a funky color while you have blonde in your hair. So that is what we are doing today. So I messaged my friend Mike who has a lot of experience dyeing his own hair and Mike suggested this semi-permanent hair color by Arctic Fox. This is a cruelty-free and vegan hair dye. Today, that's what we're doing. I've washed my hair, I've dried it. We are going to mix up a little bit of this iris green with aquamarine. Online, they say these two colors together were supposed to give you a more jewel tone green. I've always really wanted to do a fun color in my hair and blonde was kind of that fun color. So I'm actually really excited to try this green to see how it turns out for the short amount of time that I still have this blonde in my hair. The first step is to mix equal parts of this aquamarine and this iris green together in a bowl. And then I'm going to use a brush and paint that on my blonde parts of my hair. I did forget to buy gloves and since this is vegan and cruelty free, I'm hopefully just going to use my hands and hope they don't get dyed. <laughs> All right, so it's been about maybe an hour. So I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna wash my hair with cold water and see how it looks. All right, so it definitely turned out a lot more blue than I thought it was going to do, and it's still kind of wet, but I kind of love it. It's kind of cool, it has a little color shift. Like, you can see it has some blue and some green in there. My hands are dyed because of the whole no glove situation. But yeah, I mean, I kind of felt like I was done dyeing my hair blonde, but after seeing this kind of fun color on my head, I don't know, I kind of want to continue to express myself creatively with 
my hair. So we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Click that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. And click that bell notification so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And as always... <laughs> Three days later. Hi friends, Rachel from Heart Shaped Leaves sent me a package. So I wanted to open that up today and show you guys what she included in that package. I have actually no idea what's gonna be in it. A tiny little inkling of what might be in it, but it's one of those situations where like, you think you're right, but you don't want to assume. I decided I would turn the camera on and film this a little bit so you guys could also see what is inside this box, it's actually pretty light. Also, Rachel, that's like some legit nice handwriting you have there. Pretty impressed. Oh, uh, right on top is a card here that I sliced through. Oh, maybe I should have waited to read the card. Uh, okay. Ooh, she packaged this so nice. Sorry, I feel like I keep bending down. Like, okay, so you got some bubble wrap there and it's taped into the box. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Ah. I feel like I'm getting teary eyed. Okay. It's just a plant, Adam. <laughs> okay. Guys. Guys. Guys, oh my gosh, oh, I love you. Rachel, Rachel, thank you, thank you so much. I don't even know, like I don't even know what to do right now. Look at that, look at it. Swoon, like is this real? Is this true life? Like, just making sure she didn't send me thrips or something, like. Attack on the plant tuber. Sneak attack. <laughs> so this is an Albo variegated Monstera, which has been on the top of my wish list for a long, long time. And I honestly can't believe I'm, I'm like holding this plant right now. It is a cutting and it has two very large, what seem to be aerial roots. And you can see the spot right there where I believe it is actually going to start putting out a new vine. Rachel sent this to me wrapped in sphagnum moss, so actually that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some sphagnum moss and put this into a pot, a nursery pot with sphagnum moss and keep it damp because that's what I did to my Thai Constellation Monstera and my Philodendron White Wizard when they both came and they had no roots or a lot of root rot and I needed to build up a new root structure and it worked perfectly. That is where this babe is going to go and I'm going to make sure I wake up every single day and whisper sweet, sweet nothings into her pedial. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much, Rachel. I'm so excited to have this plant. If you're my friend and we have a relationship and I have a plant that you want, I want to bless you with that plant. I want to propagate it and I want to gift it because that gives that plant a story, that gives that plant meaning. Thank you for this gift, Rachel. Thank you for giving me a plant that now has a story. Anyway, I'm not sure what this video is gonna be or if it's gonna be tacked on to the end of another video, but in any case, I appreciate you hanging out with me and thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'm not sure what was before this. I'm not sure what's coming after this, but right now we're just gonna bask in this albo -ness.